So it's currently 4.40 in the morning. I'm trying to like practice what the new routine will be. So I've just figured out there's not actually even anything on TV at this time of the morning. It's about four hours until anyone else gets up. The way our shifts are gonna work is I am gonna start at 4.45 in the morning. instead of five, so that I can finish at 8.45 instead of nine. Uh, we both work at the same company because then he is going to get the kids up and dress them ready and walk them to work and literally at the gates, we're gonna swap over. I'm gonna take the kids, he's gonna walk into work and I'm gonna go back home. So as much as that's great because we'll be saving on childcare, think it's going to be pretty stressful for like the first few weeks at least whilst we get used to that. Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I am now back at work as the title of this video will tell you. No, I'm joking. It's not that bad to be fair. Like it's all right. Well, I, th I think the first day is the absolute worst day. I think leading up to that first, very first day, that very first, like walking into that building, it's a tough one. But after that, it's all good. So it's been just over two weeks now. The tiredness is probably catching up to me now. I even look tired today. I've got like Brandon's t-shirt on, so we'll see what he says about this when he sees this video. But it's a given, once you return to work, you're gonna be a lot more busy. I wouldn't say it's tougher. Personally, I find being a stay-at-home mum much more demanding. But then again, I work really early in the morning, so I kind of feel like I'm a working mum and a stay-at-home mum all wrapped into one because I then get home at 9am and I then have the kids for the rest of the day. It's full on. So my first tip is self-care. So as a mum, we always put our self-care needs last. It's part of what makes us a good parent, I suppose. Take some time to make yourself feel good. When you feel good, you have a better day. Like, that's just the facts. <laughs> I was doing face masks. I spent a lot of time getting fresh air. Also, personally, I love to tan, so I have been keeping my tan up. You can't really tell. So white. I feel like that's a thing. Like, I feel like a lot of people feel like that when they've got tan. I also drank so, so much because I am the worst for drinking. I will get to the end of the day and I will have forgotten to have a drink at all. I actually can see a massive difference. People have been doing like a, a gallon of water challenge. <laughs> my mood in itself. I just don't feel so like groggy all the time. I feel lighter. <laughs> so my second tip, the tip is to like practice your new routine, even though you won't be at work, but before you go, okay, so let me just start that again. Practice your new routine before you go back to work. So for me, that meant getting up really, really early in the morning but start getting your body used to what it's going to be doing soon. It'll just be peace of mind if you do the routine before you go back to work and you know that it works. So my third tip is to share the load. So by that I mean, well, you see, again, this could mean different things for different people, but for me, it meant sharing the night feeds. Because I've breastfed, I always have done the night feeds. I've never bothered asking Brandon because I wake up anyway and I just think, what's the point in getting him up? Because I'll probably just lay there awake anyway. But moving on, I decided I needed to like cut myself away from that and let him take over a little bit. So the way we split it was he did the night feeds up till midnight. So anytime she got up to midnight, anytime she got up, up till midnight, he would do. And then midnight going on forward, I would do. Funny story, so my nine month old child that's been getting up up to seven times a night for me from birth saw her dad's face the first night a couple of times, the second night the one time and has since slept through the night. I am not even joking, she literally was using me. It's kind of cute when you think about it, but I wish she'd done this earlier. If I'd known all it had, would have taken was for Brandon to get up in the night, we would have done this 
months ago, honestly. But if we're being positive, which we are, at least she's now sleeping through the night in time for me to be back at work. So that's great. So the fourth tip is to clear your schedule. As a stay-at-home mum or full-time mum, whatever you want to call it, you always have a whole list of jobs you want to do, like bits around the house you want to do, like errands you need to run, like the post office or the shopping, or obviously you do need food shopping, so don't like wipe that off the list. But there's a lot of things that we have in our mental lists to get done that just can wait. Focus on work, focus on getting ready for work, focus on feeling calm, ready to go back to work. Don't worry about that bit of wall that needs painting over there that bit of wall actually does need painting to be fair but just don't don't think about it tip f five when you actually start back to work just be easy on yourself be forgiving don't expect to be able to do all the activities that you used to do on a daily stick to the basics keeping everyone happy just do what needs to be done for the first couple of weeks at least. So tip number six is on an evening, give yourself like 10 minutes to get everything ready for the morning. Lay out uniform, even lay out the kids stuff. If you need to pack a bag, pack a bag. If you need to make a drink for the morning, make a lunch for the morning, do all those things and have them ready. So my last tip, tip number seven, is to try and spend some like last minute family time together. So the way we did it, quite lucky actually how it worked out. Brandon had like a week and a half off, spent the whole week and we went on walks and all sorts. Just They were just cheap, cheerful family days out. And then the half a week after that, that he was still off, I then returned to work so that we had half a week of just me working so I could kind of get my bearings. And then we had the Thursday, Friday, where where Brandon would turn to work and we just had those two days that week where it was full on and we, we just dipped our toe into what our life was about to become. So yeah, they're like all my tips on how to feel good about returning to work. I don't think there's any way to actually be buzzing Ooh, you're hard. about returning to work unless you have a career that you absolutely adore, which I don't. I like my job, it, it works for me, I enjoy the people I work with and, and all that, that kind of stuff, but it's not like a long-term life career yet. I really hope some of these tips help you and honestly, I wish you the absolute best in returning to work. Thank you for watching. If you would like to see anything more from me, then please do hit the subscribe button below this video and give this video a like as well. And thank you very much.